Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we moved out all the big herd of longhorns out to pasture. Didn't get a chance to film it because I thought there was going to be a lot more pieces to move and cows getting out than I thought there was going to be. But they came right down the lane, all of them. The new ones followed the old ones like no problem. They got into the paddock that I wanted them in. And the only in little incident that we had was one of our little calves, Ruby, back there. She got underneath the, the electric fence. It shocked her when she went by. She was kind of scared to come back through it. Lifted it up. She came in. No issues at all. So this morning, we are doing our first cattle move with the whole herd of longhorns. And it looks, looks like they're coming over to see me and see what's up. Now, they were, the, 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 the original ones were in this paddock here before I moved them over there in this front section. So this front section got a little bit more than the back. But you can see how the cows impact the grass and it's pretty cool. Looks to me that they know what's coming up and they all want to move. All of them actually, it's pretty cool. So right here is the wire. You can see on one side of the wire, full of bahia grass, that's this stuff right here by the way. Uh, full of just everything on this side. They ate it down pretty good. That's exactly what we want They left about a third they took about a third and they trampled about a third So this is perfect right here and that right here shows you the impact that the cows can make on the land really Don't be difficult. There we go. Are you hurting them for me? Is that what you're doing? Ah, oh, you might be helping me. Good job, sheep. Good job. Look at this. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. No big deal at all, actually. Only took like two or three minutes to get all the cows to the new paddock. I like that. Now all we have to do, now all we have to do is move their water 
the new paddock and it's right there. Pretty easy. Plus the mineral. And that's it. Fence is closed in behind them. Don't necessarily have to do that. But it just keeps them in one spot and trains them a little bit better. You know, they can probably have access to this area for four days before the grass starts growing back. Which you don't want them to do because it's too, too short for them to eat and they'll eat it. So you get them over here on the grass that you want them to eat. And now, cows are going to get all fat and happy. Exactly how I want it. You see, I still have to learn how much these cows will eat in one day. So I'm giving them this paddock and going to see how long I can keep them in here for. And then I know for the next one, all I have to do is say it, they can stay in here three days. I'll separate the next section over there into three smaller paddocks. And uh, yeah, they'll be... It'll be perfect, and it'll be the perfect amount of disturbance that the cows create. Looking over here, I probably could have left them one more day in the one we just moved them from. Because you can see, there's still quite a bit of grass. But, I want to get these new ones into the mode of moving and learning what that's about. And, uh, they did pretty well. <laughs> they did actually very, very well. Sheep was probably the hardest one, because that's what sheep does. But Jordan and uh, Rusty followed up the rear, did perfectly just fine. Man, I tell you, when you got cows like these, it's so easy. It's so easy. Because we put in the, the electric fence system and the water line all throughout the farm, it's so easy, it's so simple. Anyone could really do this, anyone could do this. I mean, it's not that hard. We got them trained to you, got them trained to a bucket first, get them trained to the electric fence, they'll move, they'll move. The first three, a little bit difficult because, you know, we were learning. Then when Ellie and Rose came, it became easier. When Dolly and Sheep came, we know what to expect, and then we got six more. Nothing, it not, hasn't been any harder work taking care of seven cows than it is 13 at all. I mean, really even three cows to 13. Set up the fence, give them water, make sure they have grass, move them every day. They're great. You know, that was so easy, I almost feel bad, but you know, almost, I don't. Because what this is, this is a product of the system that we have in place and me spending time with the cows, me training them and everything and just, this is what, uh, this is exactly how I envision things going. Is it gonna go like this every day? No, most days it will though. That's the thing, most days it will. It'll be real quick, real quick moves, no stress, no nothing. Boom, cows are on new grass, they're happy, I'm happy, they're getting fat. Just a good day, just a good day. You see Jordan here, he's pretty little and kind of scrawny right now. He's actually filled out in the last couple days for sure, I can actually see it on him. And because of the grass that we have here and because of the system that we have, I wasn't afraid to get him even though he was a little bit on the skinny side. And uh, I think he's going to be the future of our herd because he's our bull. Get it, Jordan? Those of you who don't know, that's that's pretty funny. Pretty confident with him falling into our system, getting used to us, that he's gonna he's gonna look like Dolly right there. Look at Dolly, she's a great looking cow, man. Fat, happy, slick, low to the ground, just a good cow. And he's gonna start looking like her. Just give it a month or two, and he'll bulk up and start really looking like a bull. See, look, you can really see the difference on this side, right here, eight down, over there. All standing. That's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. They get the optimal forage while leaving behind this to where the good stuff really grows back. Because there's some stuff in here like they had a they, they took down that rose bush right there. They took that down pretty pretty low to the ground. That's gonna have a hard time coming back. And grass will probably grow up in its place, which is what we want. So with that, I think I'm going to cut this right here. It's very uneventful, kind of cool day, just everything going so smoothly. And if you want to see some that don't go according to plan, hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And drop a comment if you like, alright? And until next time, see ya.